This is the Retro Bus String Art Kit tutorial by String Art by Kaylee. To make this design, you will need the String Art Kit, which can be ordered on my website. You will get yarn bundles in your color choices, and you will need a pair of scissors. The very first thing we will do is take a picture of our board. We are going to remove this piece of paper so all of our lines will disappear. That picture will be a reference. Go ahead and take the paper off. Now that the paper is removed, we are going to start off by stringing the bottom half of the retro bus. So grab the organza bag that has that color yarn bundle. Find the strand that is wrapped around the middle and go ahead and unravel the bundle. With that same strand, we are going to tie a loop up in the air. This is how we will start our knot. Then we will take that loop and tuck it onto any one of the nails on this outer side of the bottom section, and then we will outline our area. Make sure as you are outlining, you are pushing the yarn all the way down to the base of the nails. This is super important throughout the entire string art process. Always be pushing the yarn down as far as you can go. Once your outline is complete and all the yarn is pushed down to the base of the nails, you can see exactly where we're going to fill in for this section. Basically, you're just going to weave back and forth in between all the nails to fill this in. Make sure you're pushing that yarn down like we've said before. There's not a certain way to do this. You can go in a pattern like this. You can jump around in all different directions. The point is just to fill it in. You can do as much as you want. A lot of string art, you can still see the board through your layers. I personally like to fill it up to where I cannot see the board. That is totally up to you. One other important thing to remember is to not go past the halfway point on the height of the nails. A lot of these nails will share different yarn colors and different sections. We wanna make sure we're leaving plenty of room for those future layers. As you can see, I'm kinda of keeping in a pattern style with my layers. So I went up one way and back down, so now I'll go on the other side. We're filling in this entire area that we outlined. And you'll just string it up until you like how full it is. So now I'm happy with how much I filled it up. You can see I'm halfway up the height of the nails. I'm gonna stop there. This next part is optional. I like to do an outline on the areas that will not be covered up by future colors. So it'll be the left and the right side of this section. It just gives it a smoother look. To tie off, I just cut the yarn a little bit longer and long enough so we can make a loop. And then we'll just take that loop and tuck it onto one of the nails within our section. Pull that tight. And then I'll just trim that strand to about a half an inch. And then use the end of the scissors to tuck that little strand in between the layers that will help hold our knot. Our first section is done. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the upper half of the retro bus. Grab the color of yarn bundle that you chose for this area. Just like before, we'll take that strand wrapped around the middle, go ahead and unravel it. Then we will make a loop and tuck it onto one of the nails on the mirror and outline the whole upper half of the retro bus. As you're doing the outline, you will go over top of those blue layers on the bottom half of the bus. Once you get back to your starting point, go ahead and start filling in the mirror and then jump over to give an outline to the windows of the windshield. And then just work your way up, filling in the upper part until you get over closer to the other windshield and give that side an outline as well. And just like with the bottom half, you'll go ahead and fill in this area as much as you want. Just make sure you're going to about that halfway point of the nails. The nails that connect with that bottom half of the section will get filled all the way up as you are doing that second color. Once it is filled into your liking, we'll go ahead and do the second outline. For this section, you will outline the entire thing just like when we started it. No other yarn colors will go on these nails, so you will outline everything.
and then a reminder on how to tie off we will just cut our yarn a little bit longer to be able to make that loop pretty easily tuck the loop onto a nail pull it tight trim that strand to about a half an inch and then tuck it in with your scissors you will be repeating all these steps over and over again until we get to the logo so i'm going to do a quick string until we get there All right, so last area is the logo. This is a little bit different than the other sections. Go ahead and tie your loop on this nail right here. And then this is just going to be an outline between all these nails, not actually filling in. So my first layer, I'm just weaving in and out between each nail until we get back to our starting position. And then you'll go around a second time, but now you should be weaving in and out the opposite way, making X's in between each nail. For the third layer, we will go along the inner parts of this circle, just looping around each nail. After the third layer, we will go and start doing the VW on the inside. You might need to use that picture you took in the beginning to see what nails connect to these areas. Every kit is different, but you should have the same amount of nails on your logo, so you can follow this video. So it was the same thing as the circle where we just weaved in and out in both directions. And then we went along each side. So now on our last layer, we will do a circle around the outer side. And then it's optional if you want to restring the inner circle again. And then tie off just like all the other times and we are finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like. And feel free to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.